Okay guys, this is Danny back from Deep South Homestead. We're out here. Uh, I want to show y'all the results from I only have a short time video. Uh, thank y'all for your prayers because I believe God heard them. Uh, guys, it's exciting what we're fixing to show you. So take a look at this. Guys, you know what all this is out here that you see? That's that grass that we've seen one to ride around the tractor spreading everywhere. It is coming up. I mean, I'm going to see if we can even get down here a little closer and show you. Look at this, guys. You see all this right here? All this green stuff right there? That's all grass coming up where we planted it. I mean, it's in here everywhere. Look at it. It's popping up. Look at all this right here. That's all that grass. It's already almost two inches tall in three days. Guys, the rain, the light rain, the little eighth of an inch rain came and just kind of lightly wet the ground. And it's all just jumped. The temperatures have cooled off. And I mean, it has jumped. Now, what I want to do is I want to ease out here in the field. And I'm going to show you the... Uh, oh, I'm going to show you something else. I want to show you what the difference it makes where the cows use the bathroom at, where the grass seeds fell. So we're going to turn around here and look at a cow patty right quick. Okay, guys, all this right here. This is all cow dung right here. Look at this. Look at these grass. Look at all that grass coming up in that cow dung where them seeds fell in it. I mean, look at that. You can look right here on the side. They're actually starting to sprout right here on the side. I mean, right here. Look at it. That stuff's done growed. Look, I, I'm going to put my finger in it anyway. I don't care. That stuff's as tall as my finger is. My finger's about three inches long. So that grass in that cow pad is already three inches tall. It's getting some fertilized, guys. Okay, guys, this out here is regular Oregon ryegrass. This is what we usually plant. This right here, look at the difference in the width of the blades. Look at the height of the blades. Some coming up right here. Some more right here. See that? You know what that is? That is the winter rye cover crop that we got from Hall's Tool Company. Uh, it is already twice the height twice the width of the regular Oregon ryegrass that we've got planted. Now, if we can pan around to the right just a little bit, I'm going to try to move just a little bit to the right. Uh, here's some more examples of it right here. Look at this one right here. Can you see it behind my hand there? Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's one of the Hoss tool seeds versus the little Oregon rye that we normally plant right here. This stuff's about an inch and a half, two inches tall. This right here is already three to four inches tall right here, and it's got way wider blade on it. So you know what? I believe by mixing that Hall's Tool uh, winter rye in with this, we're going to get a better grazing off of this. I mean, you look right here. See all the green coming up in here? Look at that. Guys, we are excited. We've got some grass coming up. Looks like we may have grazing grass for our cows this year. And we're thankful to y'all for your prayers and to the good Lord above for, for hearing us and answering our prayers about watering our land gently so that the grass would come up. Okay, guys, look at this up here. Look at that. It's all green this morning. That grass is already up, and I mean it's up thick. Mm, God is good. This hillside here has natural springs in it. A little bit of rain is all it took just to get this grass jumping and a popping. If we can get up a little closer, we'll show you how much of a good stand it really is. Look at this, guys. Where that culture packer come through and left all them little grooves in the ground. Look at all that pretty green grass growing in there. I mean, it is gorgeous. If everything goes okay, Cows will have grass this year to graze on. We feel so blessed. 